Oh, good. My microphone's on. Eric Darling here with Darling Data, uh, talking about learning some T-SQL. Uh, in this one, we're going to talk about some stuff with deletes. Um, It'll be more interesting than, it so than that sounds, I promise. Uh, all 23 hours of the beginner content is available to you, for you, uh, by me, uh, uh, right now. It's, it's all out there. It's recorded. You can watch literally all of it if you have the stamina uh, in one day. <laughs> Just barrel through. Binge it. Uh, this course is available at the pre-sale price of 250 bucks, and it will literally double in value. Uh, as soon as the advanced material is published, so uh, get in there and do your do your do your summer buying now. Because what what better way to spend your family vacation than ignoring everyone to watch T SQL videos? It's, it's natural natural thing to do. Anyway, uh, let's talk a bit about uh, this whole delete thing that I wanna I wanna tell you about. Now, one thing that's very very weird to me about delete is, or I mean, modify like you know. It goes for update too, but we'll talk about updates later. But so one, one thing is very weird to me about like, you know, some modifications is that you can do a select, you can do like a delete top 1000, but you cannot order it, right? Like you notice this red squiggle under the order by, that just means no, right? So like if we, if we just highlight this part of the query and we hit control and L, SQL Server is like, oh yeah, fine, just delete a thousand rows, great. But if we if we try to do it with the order by SQL Server would just say incorrect syntax near you know, the keyword order and you're like huh, but my query is written perfectly. Why? Why is it incorrect syntax near order? <laughs> like it doesn't it doesn't go any further to say like, hey you can't have an order by with a, with a delete, right? It doesn't it doesn't say that you're like delete with top you can't order by that. Just, just like nope incorrect syntax near keyword order. Okay thanks very clear. Very clear, seven thousand dollars a core for clear error messages. Anyway, uh, you need what you can do though is put a query like this into a table expression of some sort. Uh, you can do that with a common table expression, and you can say select top one thousand, order by whatever, and then you can delete from the common table expression. You don't need the from down here. The from is optional. Uh, you can just say delete D. Like if I just highlight this part and I hit Control and L. I will get a perfectly valid query plan back where we do indeed delete the top 1000 ordered by ID. Since ID is the clustered primary key, we don't need to go and sort anything. But the from is optional, but the from is also valid syntax. We get the same query plan. Uh, you can also do that with a derived table. I don't want to leave derived tables out of the mix because, you know, that would be a bummer. Uh, so, you know, um, we, we, can, we can do that too if we, if we so please. The, the thing where it gets a little bit tricky is that when you whenever when you use a table expression, right? When you say, "Hey, uh, I I want to you know put a query in here so I can do this ordered thing," let's say that for you know whatever reason you wanted to join that to another table, right? Like you wanted to you wanted to make sure that like any like any you know any anyone in the badges table also has a entry in the users table or whatever the logic of it may be. Uh, SQL Server is going to throw an error here. The reason it's going to throw an error here is because even though you're only selecting from the badges table, right? We're selecting the top 1000 B dot star. We're just joining to users to make sure that there's a row in the users table for any badges we delete. Uh, we're going to get an error on this. It's going to say view or function. I guess, I guess, you know, <laughs> leaving just like, you know, spe specificities out of the mix here. It's a common table expression, but since a common table expression is a temporary named view, right, in your data, uh, I, I guess we can let this slide a little bit. But uh, it says that it's not updatable, which I guess means also it's not deletable, uh, because the modification affects multiple base tables. Well, that seems a little funky to me, doesn't it seem funky to you, right? Because like we're, we're saying select top 1000 B dot star, but we're just joining to users to make sure there's a row in there. Why, why, is, why, why would SQL Server try to delete from multiple tables in there? Well, one, one handy way around this is to subquerify your, your uh, initial starting query. And by that, I mean rather than do a join, since we don't care, we don't care about any values from users beyond that they exist. Right, like we don't need any columns from the users table. We're not trying to also delete from the users table because we know we can't delete from two base tables at the same time. 
what we can do is we can just check on the existence of rows in the users table using the, the handy, ever, ever handy, off forgotten exist clause. Of course, you could do like where, you know, uh, b dot id, b dot user id in whatever and get the same effect. It's, it wouldn't change anything, but I just like exists better. I just, I, I, I am more at home with exists. But if we change that um, with, of course, the from still being optional, then we can get around that and we can get a perfectly valid working query to delete and also make sure that any rows we delete have an entry in the users table, uh, which the join did not get us. There are, of course, some other, uh, you know, um, potential benefits of exists over join where, uh, you know, uh, um, the, 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 I guess the easy way of putting it is that uh, exists will not um, bubble up like ma matching entry, like duplicate matching entries. If you have a one to many relationship, right? So like there's one user to many badges, uh, you know, and you do a join, then you'll see like any like multiples for all, you'll see all the badges when a user matches, right? Because it's like you're going to keep all that. When you do exist, you skip over all the du du duplicative stuff. You just say, does the, is this thing here or is this thing not here? And you just get a, either a, a, a like a, a, a true badge or a false back. So it, it, it can be a bit more efficient when you just need to make just need to validate a row being present or not being present and from one table to another. Anyway, just a quick little bit about deletes uh, and especially how to do ordered deletes and especially about how to do ordered deletes with slightly more complicated logical needs. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I hope you learned something and I will see you over in the next video where we will talk about some cool tricks with update. It'll be completely different from this. We're not just going to repeat this about updates because wouldn't be fun, would it? All right. Thank you for watching.